so I'm working through this little Mabco 302 short block engine and uh, this is the camshaft here that come out of it and this is our comp cams bump stick that we're dropping into it so anyway I want to talk push rod length and kind of how your camshaft relates to that and I've dealt with a lot of people's engines who you know their valve train geometry is just entirely out of whack and a lot of that is attributed to they got a big cam in there and then they went and threw their stock push rods back in now there's more than just your camshaft that affects your push rod length of course you know you deck the block different cylinder heads pedestal heights you know your rocker studs the you know makeup of your uh, rocker arms you know how they're designed all these factor into your push rod length but all things equal if you add a cam with a little bit more lift you can't just go and throw your same push rods in you'll have the wrong valve train geometry and it won't be working straight down through um, pushing on the valve stem working down through the valve guide and it'll prematurely wear your valve guides and um, at high RPM stuff can even fly apart if it's so far out of whack that it's on one end or the other of the valve stem. So kind of how they get more lift out of camshafts is they'll take them and they'll grind them to a smaller base circle. And uh, you know just think of it this way, you can only have so much lift and you can't make your lobes bigger then your bearing surface here or else you can't install your camshaft with the way these are designed so anyway what they end up doing is they grind this smaller base circle so you can imagine and um, you know we'll just measure a few of them here you can see that taking a peek at the same bearing here with this thing it's kinda of hard to do with one hand but that's quite a bit larger move that over you know anyway that's quite a bit more lift and so what this does with this smaller base circle it makes you have to have longer push rods to account for that so anyway you know if, if you don't have the longer push rods you don't check your push rod length when you put a cam in any cam that has a different base circle all things equal in the engine will require different push rods and you know engines that just run and run and run forever and you can't figure out why you can just beat on them it's because they have uh, very well set up valve train geometry among other things but that's extremely important to um, higher rpm stability so you don't get weird harmonics and stuff and anyway it's it's just something to uh, be aware of and you know lately I've been dealing with a lot of engines that the push rod length isn't quite right um, when I'm working on stuff for other people so anyway that's something to take into account I do have a video on how to determine your push rod length and then how to set up your rockers and all that good stuff so anyway if you want to check that out that's on my channel but anyway I just wanted to touch on um, you know stock camshafts versus aftermarket high lift camshafts and kind of what you're looking at and the differences and what you get into there.